Welcome, welcome, welcome. Turn you up, buttercups. <clears throat> All right, this is going to be for Cancer week three. So let's see what we're looking at. And this is driving me bonkers. I normally would say a shit. No, I would normally say ape shit. I don't even see an ace. So either someone's not showing their hands. Maybe you're showing your hand. Maybe you already know that there's an opportunity. I mean, I, I did just call out ace, ace hand. Ace shit. I don't know. I don't know. But I keep seeing this world, and I think that's a big congratulations. I think that's a big congratulations. It's still there. <clears throat> All right. So, week three, cancer. Week three. Cancer. Overall energy for cancer. Overall energy for cancer. Okay, so there's some type of overall energy with someone you've had a difficult time with. There's a conclusion. So the world is not quite a congratulations yet. Yeah, I see destructions, but going after your dreams and ascending. Okay. Um, I don't know if we have some type of deception here going on. But I will tell you, I can tell that there's an ending. There's a conclusion to the past, memories, thoughts, looking at something differently, okay? I actually only wanted one, but I wasn't going to leave out with just Twin Flame and leave it at that. So, overall energy for Cancer. What he or she is thinking, what they're doing, whatever is going on on that end. <clears throat> So we have Temperance, Prince of Wands, Seven of Swords. What you don't see coming. <clears throat> you just had two eights there. See, I did that in the beginning of the read too. So there's there's some talking that's not going on. Okay. There's some healing going on. Possible outcome. Cancer. Oh, one more possible outcome. Well, oh, it gave me two more. Okay. Bottom of the deck, Eight of Swords. I don't want to quite draw conclusions yet here. This is like dating, keeping options open. This is kind of like a cold energy. So we'll see when we get to that. Somebody else is trying to heal create balance. I mm, I want to say this is either somebody, and I know I'm going ass backwards here, so I don't know if that's what that is either. Um, <clears throat> the way the prince is going, yeah, see, conversation is needed here. The way the prince is heading right towards her could be dealing with a, a healer, um, or you're just being guided to go in this direction. <clears throat> <clears throat> and then you got the Seven of Swords, but it's almost like you got a masculine here, depiction on cards, okay? Turning the back with that, I don't know if they were hiding something. Here, what you don't see coming, or what you're unaware of, whether it's your end or theirs, you're, you're, going, you're heading in a brand new direction. It's almost like you're leaving something in the past because the way he's looking. And I actually didn't even throw current past. What's happening? 
current past two days ago, two weeks ago, two years ago, 20 years ago. I mean, I'm saying current, but something could have came back around, you know. So, some type of offer. And if there's not an offer, this is usually an energy that wants to stabilize something. If it's not an offer, this is somebody looking at pictures, memories. No, you got something coming at you. You're being clear cut, logical, coming in as air. Hmm. This is not really doing it. This is resting. Thinking about it, going within. Two of Wands star, going right towards your destiny. He's looking up here. He's coming in over here. Alright. Tell me about the Princess of Swords. You could be dealing with a Pisces. To me, this is just something hasn't been revealed. Because that's not, it's, it's something's hidden. But the way you're going about it is great. It's almost like you don't see it coming or it's almost like a big reveal. There's something here because the moon right now. I mean, this could be deception, because we had that at the very bottom of the deck, and then you have deception here, and the moon card in the Seven of Swords can be deception. But I don't, I don't feel it yet here. This is more, your yeah, energy is all over the place. Um, <clears throat> it's almost like you're guarded. Like, your sword's up. Like, there's no truth there yet right so it's almost like you didn't see it coming or you're hiding from this energy but see the nine of pence wouldn't hide the feminine's confident secure independent loyal stands in her morals her values so you you kind of got it what's the moon <clears throat> Well, you just don't see it coming. Yeah, it could be judgment or see. No, this is this is throwing me off. Something's coming your way and you don't see it because it's like second chance, looking at something again. Um, So it's something you don't see. It's it's hidden from currently. It's hidden. And honestly, Cancer, you're coming in as Page of Swords, Princess of Swords, in the Nine of Pence. It's beautiful energy. To anyone to be in this energy at any time is wonderful. So I'll tell you right off the rip, you're gonna have a good week. When this comes in, I know I don't know what your outcome will be, but I, I guess we might possibly get there. Right now, you're not having a situation, though. Tell me about the Prince of Pentacles real quick. The lovers. So maybe this energy, see there was a blockage. Maybe this energy had multiple people. It's a strong connection you had with somebody. It's the lovers needing to make a decision. So you have the masculine energy that's kind of like stressed out about how one's coming and, and balance out a situation. That's the current past, but there's like, there's nothing really wrong with this energy. It's like, just can't stop thinking about you. Got a masculine that can't stop thinking about a feminine, vice versa. All right, let's see what he or she's thinking over here. <clears throat> see, I, see, this is strong being healing. You got the death, the strength, and temperance. This is healing, right? It's getting your toes wet. But to me, he's going towards her. So she's going to be an extremely healing energy. There's, there's something here. There's probably definitely a past life connection. There's no question. Or somebody, you know, judgment and second chances. 
You can read her as reconciliation, but I'm not right now. This is someone coming towards you. So again, it's, it's like they're almost looking at you as fire or calming. Someone's in a peace. And it seems to be over, but they're, they're having strength. They're hoping. Hoping it's not over. Hoping they can transform this. So... You got a masculine hoping they can transform something with a feminine. Put your shoot put yourself in the opposite situation if you're a masculine watching, you know. Um <clears throat> Yeah, somebody this is somebody who now wants to put work into something. Okay. So this probably was a third party. And when I say third party, not everyone's sleeping together, guys. It could be their mother, you know, um, their child. But to me, on top of the seven of swords, three of pens, three of cups, six of pen, these, you know, so there was, there was somebody else. The kid's mother, wife. Either she's lying or he's lying. It looks like there's deception. <clears throat> but I said it looked like the masculine was turning their back towards that. It's like she's lying about what she truly wants. You're my happy, yada yada. Well, she's lying with the seven of swords there because there's somebody else here. She's not protecting children here. <clears throat> so here we go again. Maybe they all need to talk. Not all of you. But, <clears throat> yeah, see, man, <clears throat> that drives me nuts when I, it's, I can tell when somebody's not talking. All right, what you don't see coming. What you don't see coming is a, a brand new direction. It actually looks great. But you have the King of Wands right now not doing anything. All right. Um, could be focuses on a family situation. So it looks like they're trying to wrap up a, a family situation. And in the meantime, it's it's a tough go. Yeah, it's where they were investing. So it looked like you guys were possibly dating. There was definitely something. You were single. Maybe you didn't get an offer. The offer wasn't enough because it's only a page, right? You have someone coming that's going to want a second chance. You just don't see it coming yet. They want to create balance. They want to put the effort in. They don't want it to be over. They want to transform. It's like wanting a clean slate. Um, they, this energy now knows it's, it's going to take work. Um, then you have a feminine empress over here, wife, business owner, a, a mother, somebody who was lying about their happiness or was lied to. But to me, this is like, <clears throat> it's like that person's turning their back on that person, knowing that there's some type of lie here about where her happiness really lies. She's sitting pretty on a freaking throne right now, more worried about somebody else in the picture. You know, she's worried about her own, her own self. So, what you don't see coming, <clears throat> brand new direction. You're going to have to make a choice. Someone's going to want a second chance with you. Possible outcome. <clears throat> so, if you're this queen of, um, you might change your perspective, you might not. If you're this queen of swords, like you are here, it's, it's like going from zero to 100. I don't think you're willing to sacrifice here or this is somebody who wants control over a situation. Damn. And with the three of cups, you have a high priestess with the two of cups. So... Regardless of zero to a hundred, this is still zero to a hundred with, with your thoughts too differently now. You definitely have, you're definitely dealing with a psychic, a medium, a card reader, somebody who's just uses their intuition like you wouldn't believe. Because now you have a high priestess on the board. So that was probably you knowing better. 
you cut it out. Maybe if somebody wasn't making sacrifices, you had done partying, dating. You know what you deserve. So you're going to have to follow your intuition here because this person's going to, you know, you want to go out to eat, you want to get together, you want to grab a drink, grab a coffee. Yeah, see? Too many, too many different women. So there was definitely too many people in this scenario. There's no question. So basically... I'm not, I'm not crazy about your outcome. I wouldn't worry about your outcome, but I'm not crazy about it. This isn't saying there's still a third party, you know, but it's somebody who kind of definitely breadcrumbed you and you're not having that situation either. You do have somebody very dependable, loyal, could be the same person. And again, they're coming at you. Um... It's split right here between everybody feeding everybody, having a good old time, options open. And then you have one energy here, one energy here. This could be a secret in this situation, but I don't I don't see it like that at all. You're dealing with somebody who's extremely in tuned, which would probably be you guys. Not the one that's lying about where her happiness lays or lies. So Your outcome is still up in the air. Reminiscent, keepsake, memories, well, somebody else's, cassette, outdated thinking, conditioning, playing events over and over. Yeah, see, this is a dweller. A light worker is not going to sit in this negativity, this dwelling. See, there's that coffee cup. Someone's going to want to meet up. So it's it's still up. At, they're still, it's still in the, up in the air. I mean, it is possible outcome, but it's almost like they're still not letting you know. Because in all reality, guys, you decide your own fate. You know what I mean? You decide whether you're going to give someone a second chance or not. But like I said, this is um, very mysterious, so I don't know if you're dealing with a mysterious energy. This is. You're dealing with a, a light worker, a spiritual being. This is somebody who knows how to sacrifice, will cut you out quicker than quick. She will play the game. But the minute she gets crossed, and it's not because an energy didn't go this way. I know this this energy very well. She can go out, date, have fun, do this. She can be this person. She could be this person. She could be this person. She knows how to sacrifice. She's been in certain situations. This is a, a shitty scenario. There was there was somebody else that interfered. Whether well, it was a mother, um, a mother-in-law the mother of your kids, whomever. Um, so this this right here would not be her ne her negativity. I don't see any negativity surrounding her or her. And you're over here too. Um, you know, it's changing your perception, which is right here. Learning from the past and making memories. So you might decide possibly to give this person a second chance but then you have outdated thinking and conditioning she wouldn't do that this energy no matter who you are this the, the, there's no energy here telling me it's dwelling. and like i said someone's gonna want to meet up yeah see dating so you might again the, the, that's exactly what i said meeting someone new getting back out there or meeting up having a conversation certain people in your life that uplift you so basically, somebody still has options, or you, <clears throat> or this other person clearly did, but maybe the table turned, guys, because <clears throat> now it's the feminine that's like, you know what, <clears throat> whatever that saying is, something once, fool me twice, something three times, whatever that saying is. I'll shut the door. <clears throat> And again, I'm just kind of like <clears throat> struggling, talking. So somebody's not saying something. So, <clears throat> oh my goodness. <clears throat> Hold on.
So the, it's not choosing over multiple women here, but both women are still here. So someone's going to be in someone's life forever, no matter what, <clears throat> even if you were the new life partner. <sighs> I will tell you, somebody is very, you have an energy that's very, um, especially her, if I go in one more time there, she's very cold towards the other, the other woman, bitter. Because watch when I go and clarify the Empress right here. Because she's lying about her own happiness. Because she knows somebody else is in the picture. Or she's lying. She could have been lied to. I, I don't know. Lightning. Shocking change. Sudden news. Upheaval. See? The, it's like she's she might not quite be aware of it yet. Or she's going through that right now. Looking at photos. Missing you. But if that's the case, that's... That would be what she's possibly lying about, heartbroken, grieving. So I don't know if she was lied to. Grief. Yeah, see, she needs to surrender. So this is this is her. So this is the second person. It's not the same. Okay, this is you, this is whomever she was coming in hot. And, and it's funny, weekend energy, I told you, whoever was doing dealing with karma was in that Libra energy. And it pulled me right to that. If she doesn't, she doesn't want to let go and she needs to. So she's going to say what she needs to say. To try to alter a situation. She either probably tried to come back around one more time. Or she's about to. I don't think it matters. Because he's turning his back over here. Going towards a, a calmer healer energy. Nurturing energy. Very balanced. Again can be spiritual. We have both spiritual cards. She, you, my cancers just don't see it coming. Meanwhile, I, I honestly think you're good because you got the nine of pence. When, you, when anyone comes in like this, uh, it's great. And I almost use the word glorious and I don't use that word. There's always ups and downs, but that's what I said. Like nothing compares to you. And I know I sang that wrong, but that's the song that just came to me. And this is somebody that you don't see coming that wants to follow their, their destiny. Something Again, something's faded. Right now, possibly not doing something or somebody wasn't because it was a family dynamic that needed to wrap up. So this energy was like, wants to come at you with the page, but is stressed out. So in a way, you kind of intimidate somebody because this is a fearful energy, giving somebody anxiety. So you don't see that coming this week. And I will tell you, this energy is going to want to meet up. Whether you're going to keep your options open, this is dating, keeping your options open, meeting someone new, you might just shut this down. But I am telling you, this energy is coming back around. So you're either going to meet up with this person and start dating this person and have it more on like a solid ground because the other energy is getting wrapped up. We saw that when I first initially threw this deck out. Okay. My goodness, I, I did not want to go this long this week. I literally told myself like 10 minutes each video. So even coming into your video right off the rip was like, whoa. So, <laughs> whoa. All right. I will see you on Patreon. For those who are new, welcome, welcome, welcome. And for $2 a week, you can get up to 13 to 14 videos because you, uh, you're going to guarantee the soul's contract in all four all, all 12 um, zodiacs every Monday, Tuesday will be up. The, the conclusion, like not the conclusion, but the, the second half that I do is over on Patreon and I do it for my Patreon supporters, okay? And then I do these videos free for you guys because I love you guys. So if you're new, welcome and uh, I'll see you on Patreon.
Bye, guys.